What if we spoke words that were gentle and kind and loving with others? How would our world look differently? How would our relationships be different? Guys, today I want to share with you just some words of encouragement and talk to you about the fruit of the Spirit, gentleness, and some practical ways that we can walk that out in our daily lives, especially in our relationships or at work and with strangers. Guys, my name is Lisa Heiss. We've been talking about the fruit of the Spirit the last several weeks and last month or so. We're almost finished. Next week, we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit, self-control. So guys, let's jump in. Let's talk about the fruit of the Spirit, gentleness. So let's begin by reading the fruit of the Spirit from Galatians 5, 22 through 23. This is what it says. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. So the first question I have for you guys and just kind of thought question is, um, Jesus is gentle and kind with us. Especially when we're broken and hurting and suffering. So when has there been a time where you feel Jesus has been gentle with you? Maybe take time to write that down. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Is there a story, a situation that Jesus just was gentle with you? Was compassionate and loving and just came near to you? I also want to ask you a question. When was there a time when maybe Jesus was gentle with you and just gently maybe brought something to the surface, maybe a sin or an area of your life that you feel that he wants to maybe change in your life. But he did that in a very kind, loving, gentle way, not in a way of condemnation. That is never God's character. He never does any type of uh, transformation in ways of condemnation he does it in a very gentle way he is our greatest model of being able to walk out the fruit of the spirit gentleness and as we get to know his character we spend time with Jesus we get to practice that in our daily lives so I wanted to share with you guys just a few Bible verses that will begin our our study and giving you guys some practical ideas and thoughts on how we can actually do this in our relationships and in our life. So the first um, Bible verse I want to share with you is let your, uh, I'm sorry, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. And that's Proverbs 15, 1. Uh, Philippians 4, 5, it says, let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. And that's Philippians 4, 5. So in both of those Bible verses, it talks about let your gentleness be evident. A gentle answer turns away wrath. So when we react to situations or we respond in a way that is gentle and patient and loving and kind, it makes such a difference in our ways of communication, in our relationships, and even in times where maybe things are getting heated up. But when we respond in such a calm, kind, loving, gentle manner, it de-escalates situations. Just the opposite. What happens when we respond and we raise our voices and we yell or scream or we respond in words of hate or anger or bitterness? It comes up here. It, it breaks up relationships. It hurts people. So how, what are some practical ways that we can walk out the fruit of the Spirit gentleness? A few ideas and thoughts is definitely, um, you know, dependent on the Holy Spirit. We can't do this all alone. We have to pray. We have to ask. And we have to, like, practice this daily in our, our actions and our, our tone of voice, our, our even our nonverbal cues. Um, so our tone of voice can make a big difference. Have you ever been in a heated situation and maybe somebody is yelling and they're screaming and their voice, tone of voice is up here, right? What happens when we raise our voices? The situation gets just even more escalated. But what if we actually lower our voice when they're up here and we come down here? It actually can de-escalate and calm the situation. So just a thought and idea if somebody's upset at you or like they're starting to get a little heated maybe lower the tone of voice it makes a difference um, one of the things that I've definitely been trying to put into practice is 
taking a moment to pause before I say something. Um, you know, just breathing. You may not always close your eyes when you're right with somebody, but just maybe just taking that extra five, seven seconds, 10 seconds to, to pause before saying something and thinking about is what I'm about to say, is it kind, is it lovely, is it gentle? So the Bible verse Philippians 4, 8, it says, Be, uh, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So definitely think about the other person in a more positive light. It actually makes a difference in what our words say and how we think about that person. Um, you know, think about their good traits. Look at them the way Jesus thinks about them and sees them as children of God. So just a few ideas for you guys. Um, you know, when we are in a space where we're tired and worn down, what happens? Our words aren't so kind. We're not as quite gentle with others. We're less patient and loving. So take time to Sabbath. Have you guys incorporated a day of Sabbath into your practice of uh, your spiritual practice per week? Um, for me, I Sabbath on Saturdays. I love Saturdays because it's a day that I just rest. I do the things that bring me joy. I go on a hike. I spend time with uh, like friends. I go for a meal. I watch a funny movie. I love uh, just reading a good book, listening to music, a podcast, things like that. What brings you joy? Take that into your daily practice or your weekly practice, I apologize, your weekly practice of just Sabbath. And that definitely brings us into a space of rest. It takes care of ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It makes a difference in how we are able to walk out that fruit of the spirit. So those are just a couple of thoughts and ideas. Um, you know, when we build people up, it makes such a difference in their self-confidence. So let's compliment each other. Let's be gentle with each other. Uh, even in our like facial expressions, it makes it like, I don't know about you, but if we are like, our, our facial expressions can say a lot. So maybe put on, uh, don't be fake, but definitely like be aware of your facial expressions, even in conversations and your reactions to uh, situations. So just a few ideas. Um, a question that I have for you guys is, is there a situation or a relationship God wants you to handle differently? Is there a relationship maybe at work or at home or with your family that maybe is hard right now? Does God want you to maybe handle it a little differently? Does he want to like work through that relationship and help you guys? Um, so take time to pray about that. Ask God for your help in those relationships. Um, you know, I definitely think that allowing yourself the space and working with God to maybe in a space of forgiveness. Um, do you need to forgive somebody? Or do you need to ask someone for forgiveness? Uh, what about spending, you know, if the relationship is really, really challenged, definitely spend time maybe with a counselor with the two of you. Um, allow God to work in and through those relationships so you can uh, be more loving and kind with other or with that person. Um, but guys, these are just a few thoughts and ideas for you guys. I wanted to just uh, share with you um, just these few ideas. What do you guys do? What, how do you walk out the fruit of the spirit gentleness? I would love to hear from you guys. Um, but let's uh, go ahead and end with a prayer. And I also wanted to share with you guys over on my website, www.lisaheist.com. I'm going to have a ton of, in the blog, I will have a ton of Bible verses, some worship songs, and so much more. Some Also some books that help to on your like communication and forgiveness so check those out I'll have the link down below but I'm gonna go ahead and end with a prayer father I thank you that you give us the opportunity just to study your word I pray for us to walk out the fruit of the Spirit please fill us with your joy uh, especially during hardships and trials and sufferings that many of us are going through right now I pray that you will bring peace in our relationships I pray that you will help us to walk out the spirit of love and gentleness with others. Heal any relationships that are broken. Help us to, to forgive those that have hurt us. 
Uh, Father, I pray that you will provide and comfort and come near to those that are going through difficult times, even financially. Provide for their needs. Uh, Lord, we just thank you and we lift these things to you. Amen. So guys, uh, thank you for being with me. Next week, we are going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit, self-control. That is the last of the fruit of the Spirit se uh, series. My goodness, we're almost done. If you have missed out on the last couple of vlogs, like I said, check them out. They're over on my website, www.lisaheist.com. Just click on the fruit of the Spirit. I've got all of those teaching videos, also some vlogs on there with great worship songs, books, and Bible verses. Coming up on Sunday, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a really fun video and a kind of a how-to blog and guide on how to food prep and meal plan. So stay tuned for that. That's coming out on Sunday. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I encourage you, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Uh, also subscribe to my newsletter. That will be coming out uh, this coming Sunday. And it comes out every couple of weeks, just words of encouragement, inspiration, some fun uh, products that I love, just uh, some health tools, and so, so much more. But guys, so glad to have you guys with me today. I will talk to you next week, and we will be talking about the fruit of the spirit self-control so stay tuned for that have a great week you guys i'm praying for you if you need prayer definitely comment below i'd love to be praying for you guys take care and we'll talk soon bye, -bye.